Hey, hey, so we're back in this video and what we're going to be doing is shout out to my man Jeff who was in the comment section in the last A4000 video and he was saying can you do a Ergo and also a Raven coin video so my man Jeff here's the Ergo video alrighty let's get right into it let's go okay so we're going to go over to what to mine over here and we're going to check out what is the hash rate of Ergo for a, a 3070 graphics card because again like I said there's a very similar um, it's a very similar architecture to these A4000 cards so I've never mined Ergo before so I'm just going to get this as a wee example for myself and uh, for anyone else that, out there who hasn't mined Ergo what a 3070 roughly produces what to uh, uh, hash, mega hash or whatever Ergo is using so I think Ergo uses Auto Lycos. Big, big, big up to all the Greeks out there. Big up to all the Greeks. All right, let's let's crack these all off. Don't know if there's a quicker way of doing this. Whatever. So we're just going to do this here, and we're going to go. No, we don't want these. I'm going to put that off. We are wanting one normal 3070. Right, so they're saying a 3070 here shall, it should really produce, so what I'm just going to use again for the, the cost of electricity, I'm just going to use 0 0.1 uh, of a dollar per kilowatt, so 10 cents per kilowatt hour. And you can see here Ergo, if you're if you're mining, not using nice, nice hash, but just normal Ergo. And they are saying we should be getting a revenue of 3.3 .3 mm -hmm. per day and a pr that would work out as a profit of 2.99 dollars per day okay so it's a it's a nice little it's a nice little figure and they're saying uh, for a again for a 3070 they're saying on this algorithm the ergo algorithm uh, you'd be getting a uh, 155 mega hash uh, for 130 watts okay that's pretty good that's pretty good to know so that, that's roughly what they're getting so it's going to be really really super interesting to see actually what does the a4000 do hmm very interesting right let's go over to actually what the a4000 actually produces i've never mined ergo before so this is going to be a bit of fun there we go first ergo share oh my god epic epic times <laughs> <laughs> oh getting loads of shares right so let's let's see if it'll report what we'll let this run for we'll let this run for 15 20 minutes and we'll just see after 15 20 minutes what it's actually going to be reporting in terms of hash rates so yeah i just let it run for 10 minutes to see it like basically just so soak up some heat because i had it off just a wee bit before that all i'm going to do for this test is i'm just going to crack the fan speed up on all the cards Going to put as high as possible and then we're just going to creep up the memory and see what we can what max hash rate we can really get out of these should be interesting let's do 1200 okay so it looks like at this this memory clock it got around about 130 mega hash so let's pump up we're getting 144 mega hash on average per card for 122 watts we're getting at the minute we're getting 148 mega hash uh, for 131 watts can we get 150 mega hash come on let's do it i think we're going to get it with this figure and then we get we can see can we go past 150 mega hash let's see i'll, I'll probably max out the memory clock Okay, we're back. 152 mega hash. The temperatures are getting up as well. So you can see here from this that you can obviously pump this up and get roughly about, you know, within the ballpark of 150 mega hash for around about 130 watts, 140 watts. And you can obviously 
to to get obviously your best like um, efficiency, uh, best hash rate per watt. You, we could play around with these settings a wee bit. Um, probably you'd want to bring down the power limit a little, but this is just to kind of show roughly where these cards are sitting and what they can produce uh, in the ergo. So I think I think that's basically showing most people what what to expect if you were to be mining these cards with the ergo. Our man Jeff, thanks thanks for coming in the last video. Here's this video was inspired by yourself, and hopefully you're finding you found it somewhat useful. So guys, if you do find this video useful, please smash that like button. It really really helps the channel out. And uh, if you want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. I'm going to be bringing a lot more mining and crypto content. Alrighty, anyway. That's the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. See you later.